recent updates, we've gotten a lot of changes to crystals, like the crystal grouping system, presets, and the crystal page. You've even gotten new crystals in the most recent expansion that shake up the current meta a good bit, as well as made most of the other guides pretty irrelevant. That's where I come in, so get ready. There's a lot of info to get into today. Welcome to Quick Guides. This guide is mostly focused towards new players, but if you've ever been around the block and you still don't know exactly what the current meta is, stick around. I'll be going over all of it as fast as possible. Now before we talk about the fragile crystals, we should go over the more permanent stat increase from artifacts. While certain sets being rather expensive, you can get yourself some significant damage or defense increase for minimal cost. For instance, the best in slot damage lightstone sets are in the multiple billions in cost and sometimes not even on the market. But in reality, you can run something like the Skullmaster set for less than one-tenth the cost, and I would even argue you could use this set forever and not worry about missing much, if any, damage. I'll leave some good sets on screen at different price points for whatever point you are in the game. There are some other decent options in the game, this is just what I would recommend to all players as they progress through it. When you're approaching endgame, you'll be informed enough to come up with your own decisions based on your own gear needs. On screen are the species damage sets. These are in general going to be better than your normal sets, assuming the spot you're at is affected by a species type. That's just the light zone side of things. I'm sure you're going to want the best artifacts, and as far as damage goes, the best options are going to be the accuracy sets and the monster AP sets. Check which type of damage you skill off of in your profile window by pressing P, looking for the listing called combat type. It's worth noting that the Monster DR artifacts are an amazing option if you're struggling to keep your HP up at whatever spot you're grinding. Making use of the artifact window to hold up to 30 different artifacts, stacking as many as you want per slot, and creating presets for each scenario that's relevant to you is going to save you a lot of headaches, so make sure you check this menu out. Crystals. In the modern era of BDO, these things can be rather overwhelming, so if you're just here for suggestions, I'm going to leave this on screen for a second, you can pause and buy what you need depending on where you are in the game. Please remember that you can access the crystal menu via Common in the Black Spirit and need to insert the crystals from your inventory into the crystal bag before using. Now to explain some of these choices. As a new player, you only start off with minimal stats in everything and only 12 crystal slots. This is why I will always recommend running 4-piece Hoom, Gervish, and Maclod. For these kinds of stat increases, it's hard to go wrong with. Especially since everything you'll be grinding won't require much extra stat increase and these crystals just increase everything a good bit for little to no cost. Pro tip, you can pick yourself up the Han versions of these for a little bit more stat increase at a little bit higher cost. Assuming you're making decent money around 200 to 400 million per hour, it's time to upgrade yourself to a real crystal set. Though I don't think you're quite at the stage of needing to specialize per spot, this here is going to be what I recommend for the majority of people for the majority of their time on the game. As for the four additional slots that you can unlock if and when you do unlock them, for the time being I recommend simply throwing either those AP crystals in for more damage or those DR crystals at a lower cost for some massive tank increase. The most important crystals here are going to be the Enhanced Hoom Set, Corrupted Set, and Jin Vipers. If you're going to replicate anything from this guide, replicate these, as they provide the massive defense increases as well as accuracy for high end and of course you can't go wrong with percent damage. As for all of you rich bastards with money to blow looking for the best of the best, it's time to start specializing. At this point, the crystal sets are going to hinge around you having the maximum crystal slots, though you can sacrifice the top slots if you're missing a Garmoth Heart. This first set is going to be best for you one-size-fit-all chuckle nuts. Take note of the brutal decimation crystals as well as lack of defense increase maximize damage in all aspects. This is not optimal in a lot of spots, depending on your gear of course. Places like the Elvia Realm have you benefit from increased species damage to go past AP caps, or tankiness so you can spend less time healing and more time damaging. Instead of showing you all builds that could work per spot, we're going to cover what the best crystals are and when you should swap what crystals where. Firstly, let's go over the crystals that are basically required at endgame. Elvia should be running always. First off, the Rebellious Spirit Crystals providing 20 AP and 350 HP. Running two of these are required for effective high end play. The new Ultimate Macalai Crystals give you an average of 5.5 AP and 2 accuracy per crystal. These are a good damage increase over the previously King Crimson Flame Crystals. Glorious Akrad Crystals providing 3 accuracy, 7 AP, and 1% attack speed per crystal. You need two of these to even consider grinding at high end. 
The same goes to the Brutal Decimation Crystals, providing 7 AP and 1% back attack damage. You need these in your build. Corrupted Crystals and the New Darkness. You can't run these in combination, unfortunately, so you're left choosing between 22% crit damage and 24% back attack damage. These alone are going to provide the majority of your damage increase, and it's up to you, depending on your class, the spot to determine which crystal is best for you. If you're hitting less than half your shots as back attacks, I would just run the crit damage. And finally, the new gear and crystal. Seriously, this thing is broken and PA knows it. Limiting you to only one of these at a time, even the lowest variation of the crystal provides way too much damage and tankiness. As soon as you can get your hands on one of these, run it ASAP. With your first 13 slots being occupied by the last crystals I showed, you'll be left with three remaining slots to get yourself the extra stats that you need per spot. Depending on your defense, AP, and accuracy needs, my first recommendation to high-end Elvia grinders is going to be the Hoom set, which can provide a massive defense increase as well as some accuracy. Keep in mind you may have to sacrifice one of the other crystals to get the full 4 set, or you can just run the 2 set plus one other crystal. At places like the Kama Sylvia region, where nothing really does a lot of damage to you, you'll want to look into getting yourself the AP options for 5 AP each. I'll have them on screen for you. Or if you notice yourself missing hits on mobs, running Jin Vipers and Elkars provides up to 64 accuracy and should solve most hit rate problems. Certain spots have remarkably low AP requirements, and depending on the type of damage they take, it may be worth swapping out a good portion of your AP or even defense crystals for more species damage. Two types of damage to look out for is Demi-Human and Human-type. For the most part, you shouldn't really bother swapping your crystals out for Demi-Human, though it could provide a decent damage increase at places like Elvia Nagas or Sonals. However, the same cannot be said about human damage, since there are some very high stat crystals that you could run for this. On screen I have the best human damage crystals in the game for you to run. It's really only worth swapping out your AP and defense crystals for this, but getting upwards of 56 human damage you can really make a difference at spots like Castle Ruins, Baragi, and Elvia Giants. Always remember hitting your AP cap is more important than species damage. Only once you're past it does it become worth. So you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Fun fact, you're officially more informed than the majority of high-end players. Don't tell them that though. They'll get angry. Throughout the video, you've been watching me clear Baragi Den with an absurd amount of human damage using both the artifact and crystal set for 83 extra human damage. This clear speed is without a weapon by the way, so if you thought the species damage wasn't worth anything, think again. Remember, everyone's at different points in the game, so don't stress about where you currently are. At the end of the day, you're playing a game, so do what's fun. And as always, good luck and happy grinding.